Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video review of the Jelly Bean 4.2 ROM on the LG Optimus 1 or the LG Optimus P500. That's right, the Jelly Bean 4.2 ROM. I've already done a review of the 4.1 ROM, but the review I did of the 4.1 ROM it was quite unstable and it didn't even have most of the advantages of Jelly Bean like Google Now. But this ROM does have it. In the 4.1 ROM, even the camera wasn't working. Here, the camera is working and the video recorder is working and so is the sound recording working all, all these features are there and this can totally be used as daily driver most of the features work and I'll just start off by showing you the interface of this ROM installing this ROM is quite simple I've put up a video of how to install the ice cream sandwich for this phone all you have to do is replace the files like the G apps of ice cream sandwich with the G apps of Jelly Bean 4.2 and obviously the ROM file of Ice Cream Sandwich itself with the, uh, the Jelly Bean 4.2 ROM file. So first of all I just wanted to say that I think Project Butter has kind of been implemented in this ROM even though it's not as fast or anything but it definitely feels smoother. Maybe it doesn't feel as fast but it's definitely a much smoother interface and as you can see from wherever you open the app there's kind of like, an, like a card effect kind of opens up like a card so Google has tried to turn the interface into having a lot of cards card like interface as you can see even the home uh, sorry the app drawer now in the app drawer unlike ice cream sandwich you could just keep on scrolling and after the apps get over you move on to the widgets you have to specifically press on the widgets tab above to move to the widgets and they're basically the same widgets as ice cream sandwich you also still have your Google Play Store shortcut in the app drawer so not much has changed there what has changed is the camera icon and the camera itself obviously so let's just go into the camera now when I did the review of the Android 4.1 ROM the Jelly Bean ROM the camera wasn't working but now the camera is working so I'm just going to show you that the camera works so I just took a photo and there are a lot of settings like right now I have the multiple shot setting so this is gonna take 20 multiple shots but I doubt you guys want to wait on for that long so I'm just gonna press the home button and we go back to the camera and let's go to the settings and change it as you can see 3 megapixels which is the highest our phone can take photos of resolution from 20 photos shots I'm just gonna switch off burst mode and now I'll show you a picture and there we go you do have tap to focus wait a second seems to still be taking burst photos I'm just gonna check that out settings burst mode seems to be off I don't understand why it's still taking burst photos maybe I'll just shut the app and restart it so as you can see now when you open this multiple settings uh, multitasking thing by holding the home button you can press this to shut them all down or at least move them from your recent applications and I've downloaded this application to kill apps because this is phone does not have such a fast processor or such good hardware to run this ROM so you're going to be need, needing to overclock it and killing apps quite uh, quite a bit I mean you'll be doing it almost all the time so I do suggest if you're planning on using this ROM as a daily driver to download advanced task killer and also no frill CPU which is an, which is a free overclocking application this is how your call screen is and this is to cut this is to SMS instead of picking up the call and this is to pick up the call so I'm just gonna cut it right now so as you can see I keep my frequency on 748 megahertz as the maximum clock frequency 
and 480 megahertz is the minimum clock frequency you should keep it about 748 or 768 whatever suits you I leave it at 748 so these two applications I would suggest you guys downloading also probably a browser because the browser is a bit laggy I'm not saying it's completely laggy or anything like that it's unusable or anything it completely works even pinch to zoom works completely fine it's just a bit laggy if you guys can see so probably downloading another third party browser wouldn't be such a bad idea but I'm okay with this browser I, I'm using this as my daily driver and I use this browser so as you can see double tap pinch to zoom everything works quite perfectly on this browser and one more application I would suggest you guys downloading would probably be the gallery app because even though now the camera can take pictures and video like I mentioned earlier it can take video and pictures the problem is that the gallery app is not able to play them properly so now that I switched off burst mode let's see if it's still taking burst photos there we go so it's only taken one photo and now we'll go into gallery actually when you go from camera like I uh, told you guys already that Google has tried to make this kind of like a card interface so when you're in the camera when you slide from one side to another like this from one edge if you do it from the middle it's not gonna okay if you do it from the middle nothing happens but if you take it from all the way from the side like this and swipe it then you can get into you can get into the gallery so th this is your gallery you can switch like this They'd, like earlier in ice cream sandwich and all you, you had an ice cream sandwich and all you had an option in the camera down here somewhere to go into the gallery here you have to just swipe to get into gallery like this so anyways that was the camera now I'm going to show you some of the UI changes for example when you get a message now you can either reply to the message you can read it obviously in the notification bar this is or you can directly call the people and to it's this, this is if you guys remember this is the same icon that's there to shut the uh, recent apps this is also there to close all no notifications and shut the notification bar here you have something new which is the toggles these are known as tiles and here you have your brightness settings your Wi-Fi your data battery airplane mode Bluetooth and you have your yourself over here so you can just click on that and then it shows up your like contact information and when you click this it opens up your contacts or Google people as it's known as as you can see this is the notification bar so this has changed it's kind of become more smooth elegant I'm gonna go into the settings now actually before we go into the settings I, I wanted to show you guys the lock screen which has also changed so now in the lock screen also like in the camera you can swipe to go to another page but again you have to do it edge to edge and here you can add another screen like a screen with your messages or your or another digital clock of the calendar let's say you add one screen of the calendar and now you switch another one and you add another one with messaging so now you have like one two three screens and when and this button down here can determine which will be your main screen as in the unlock screen so now when you go into this this is not your unlock screen this is your unlock screen you press this button and this makes it your unlock screen and then you can unlock and also when you're doing this you can hold this to remove some pages so now not only do you have pages in your home screen you also have them on your lock screen and if you swipe to add a new page you have to swipe from your left to your right but if you want to go into the camera directly from the lock screen you have to swipe edge to edge from the right to the left and your camera opens up and then you can directly take photos from your camera like this so that's the lock screen and I showed you guys these notification toggles here 
so I'm just going to show you how you can add more etc I'll just go into the settings and prove to you guys first of all that this is actually Android 4.2 so an about phone we have Android version 4.2 Cyanogen mod version it's an unofficial build obviously this is Cyanogen mod you to make sure this is Android 4.2 since this is still Jelly Bean, we have the same kind of secret Easter egg that was there in Jelly Bean 4.1. Except now, when you touch it, it says Android 4.2.1 instead of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now, when you hold this, you get this kind of animation with a bunch of Jelly Beans floating around. There they are, and you can just flick them, flick them away like that. Just play around with that position. Anyway, so this is just an Easter egg. So if you guys didn't know that about Jelly Bean, this happens in almost all the Android versions from Android 2.3, if I can remember. So, anyways, guys, this was Android 4.2. If there's anything I missed, I'll definitely put it in the comments. If there's anything you guys want to ask me about this ROM, Wi-Fi works, data works, everything works in this ROM. This is totally capable of being a daily driver. Oh yeah guys, I had to show you guys Google Now, which is one thing that I haven't shown you guys. It was, it, it is a feature in Android Jelly Bean since Android 4.1, but in the earlier ROM review I did, it wasn't working. The Google Now wasn't working. Before that, I'm just going to prove to you guys that even your video works. Of course, Android 4.2 also has Google Sphere which isn't working in this rom panorama mode is not working in this rom but the video recording is working so if you guys i'll just show you guys that this phone can also take videos now now as you can see it's taking a video i'm gonna move my hand in front of the screen here Yes, you can see that and we'll stop the video so now you can see the video has been taken so this thing can take videos also I'm going to take a sound recording now just to prove to you the mic and everything works so we will now start it and we will continue talking and once we are done talking we will stop it and play it So as you can hear guys that the sound recording is also working so the microphone is working as far as google play work as far as the play store goes everything is working apps are able to be downloaded facebook everything most of the apps are completely functional now i wanted to show you guys google now so let's just open that up when it says google that's what you need to press google search and now as I've told you guys that Google was kind of making this card interface so it is also there in Google now so when you ask Google a question it will put up cards telling you the answer like this is telling me my current locations weather in a card this you can see it starts here and it ends about here so that's one card and down here you can see show more cards it'll just say show sample cards so these are how cards look you have cards for weather traffic public transport flights sports next appointment translation currency time back home places stuff like that so now you can ask it a question like what is the weather of london and it will tell you the weather of london in a card and you can just flick this card for it to go away and if instead of the card 